Hello there, my name is Ismas. Welcome to Top Channel 101. So in this video, let us look at how to create uh, this knife here. Let me first change uh, this to a different meta cup. And uh, let me set these to only random so that we can see the details uh, that are here. You can see it is a well-modeled asset. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put this up on CG Trader for anyone who wants to uh, get it. And uh, you also see uh, the rendered images there. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is what I did. And uh, if we go to edit mode here, you can see uh, for most people would uh, use booleans uh, to make these uh, these insets and uh, and uh, uh, these holes here. Uh, but uh, I like to use uh, to model everything uh, just because I want to have control over the edges, the amount of edges, the, the amount of vertices uh, that are in my model. And uh, yeah, you can see. I modeled everything. I didn't use any boolean modifiers or anything uh, to cut out uh, those those holes or anything, and uh, and I think it came out uh, nicely. Now another thing, uh, one of the commenters uh, in on one of my videos said uh, that I should be using more. I should uh, use curves to trace out uh, the uh, the silhouette of of the shape before I model it because I usually what I do is uh, I get I create a, pl a plane and then extrude from it from one of the vertices on that plane I just extrude uh, the vertices like that uh, to create uh, the shape uh, you will see it in the video and uh, one of uh, the commenters said I should be using a curve instead of uh, vertices uh, yeah I could do that but uh, as I said I, I always want to have control over uh, where the points where the vertices are on the, on the mesh so that I don't have a lot of uh, vertices unnecessary vertices on my mesh uh, on my uh, models in my models uh, that's why I use mostly uh, that's why I model using vertices mostly instead of using curves uh, just to have a little bit more control over what I'm doing and uh, yeah and I think it works because I think uh, the model came out uh, really nicely and uh, yeah, so this is going to be as well a time lapse video. And uh, if you want to see the rendered images, or if you want to see, uh, if you want to get uh, the model, you will find it on my CG Trader account. I'll be leaving a link in the description. So yeah, if you found this useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So yeah, let's dive in into the time lapse.